Roses are red, violets are blue, love never crossed my mind until I met you. Roses are red, violets are blue, you are my sunshine and I love you. Roses are red, violets are blue, you make the world better by just being you. Uh, This Sunday is of course the 14th of February, St Valentine's Day. And uh, many of you will be sending cards and flowers and all sorts of gifts uh, to your wives or husbands, uh, your fiancés, maybe your boyfriend or your girlfriend, to express your love and affection. And if you're feeling really in love this year, amongst the five most expensive Valentine's Day gifts, you'll find a 340,000 euros pair of Chopard de Rigo Vision sunglasses, a 600,000 euros limited edition pen created by Mont Blanc, Van Cleef and Arpels, and a 3.1 million euros handbag by House of Muawat. They're all probably out of our league, folks, but some people will go to any length and any expense to show their love. The sad thing is that if this is one of the few days of the year that we prove our love, then it won't really mean very much. We need to develop a love that lasts. In 1 Corinthians 13, verses 4 to 7, we read these well-known verses. Love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Now the church at Corinth wasn't exactly the model church. In fact, the Corinthian believers were engaging in some pretty serious messed up things from sexual promiscuity to getting drunk in church to quarreling amongst themselves. They were far from the ideal, loving and thriving church body. So when a few of the church members went to visit the Apostle Paul, they spilled the beans and told him everything that was going on in their fellowship. After hearing about the true state of the church in Corinth, Paul wrote them a letter to remind them that when Christ is in us, we should live a real love for one another and a love that lasts. So how do we grow a love that lasts? Well, it all starts with the help of the Spirit of God doing a work inside us. And this all begins when we put our trust in Jesus as Saviour and Lord and we step on to the road of faith. Love grows as we become more Christ-like and as we model his example. And beyond no illusion, love also has to experience some resistance to strengthen it. Love has to learn patience. It also has to learn how to be humble. It has to learn how not to be rude, how not to be jealous. And a love that lasts is always a sacrificial love. It always thinks of the other person first. So let me encourage you to commit yourself to real love for the long haul and to put it into practice from today as you live for Jesus and as you serve him. May God continue to bless you and keep you safe.